G'day, how are you doing? Hopefully doing very well keeping healthy as I'm doing pretty good on this side of the desk. Today we're gonna have a look at the Dell XPS 13. Now this is the 9315 Tool One. Now when I actually unboxed this Tool One, I was expecting something a little bit different from what this actually came out to be. I was expecting sort of a clamshell laptop which they normally is and then you have this hinge that actually you're able to fold the display 360 degrees and then turn it to a tablet what came out was something very different they have actually gone for a surface pro sort of style on this tomb one for this xps 13 this is probably the first time i've seen this on the xps 13 but just to show you what it is it's basically you can pull this and it has a keyboard cover now i don't have a keyboard covers this is extremely strong magnet it takes a fair bit just to get it off uh, you can see and also this, this this setting for the back hinge as you can see it actually folds it now there's only two settings for it so it's pretty much sort of like an angle like this or quite a deep angle uh, this makes it pretty much only like five degrees of there. You can see those are the two angles you actually really get. You don't get anything more any angle than that. So, but it is a very strong magnetic hold when in these two angles here. And as you can see, something very different to even the Surface Pros or even the other latitude slash uh, surface looking top is this is now flat on the thing. Now I've actually had this play with a few of my other people and some friends here and it is a bit of a 50 50 and it really depends on your user style if you actually enjoy having this sort of style or you actually have a little bit of an angle which you will probably get used to but for me i am pretty much not really have a preference uh, for it as i'm quite flexible and this does solve one of the problems i had when i with the extra hinge that comes up sort of like this sort of style is that when you're on planes or trains and you've got the tray table that this hinge has also issues but if you hit a little too hard or type it kind of unhinges and pretty much disconnects the keyboard or just falls apart this won't have that issue in this sort of style so this is going to be plane or train friendly for those who travel or even if you're on a laptop and you didn't want very close uh, this is very good and again because of the angle of this is actually really close by it means you can actually have, if you're in economy class, you can actually have this quite close to you and it won't actually have issues. So this is really good for traveling those transportation. But just to give you a bit of feel of the keyboard, I did find that the keys is very similar touch and feel compared to the Dell XPS Plus, which has that very unified uh, trackpad and palm rest that was a very nice feeling keyboard and this is also feeling very nice even just the travel space so that's very nice now as for the trackpad it's pretty much very similar as most of the sort of type cover your feels it's very responsive feels very nice gliding feels smooth to it. it's multi gesture as well and also for the palm rest it is sort of that felt feel to it velvet sort of feel to it so nothing very different there but else that was something I just want to say about that. Now, of course, with this XPS 1393 15 2 one it does include a pen. As you can see, you can store it at the top. Just like the current and also the past couple of years of the XPS range, it's only got Thunderbolt 4 ports. Now, you actually got two on the left-hand side, and then you've got a power button on the top, and also the volume keys on the other side, and that's pretty much it. So you will have to probably take carry dongles around with you if you don't have USB type C native devices to connect to this. The display is a 3K display with a maximum brightness of 500 nits. It does have an unusual aspect ratio of 3 by 2 and it uses Gorilla Glass so it does have a glossy finish to the display. So you do get quite a lot of reflections when you're outdoors but because of the brightness of the display it is able to cut through but you can still consume multimedia and work on documents even in the outdoors. Measuring the color gamma coverage of the 3K display on the XPS 13, it resulted with 93.9% sRGB coverage, 66.7% Adobe RGB coverage, and 69% DCI-P3 coverage. 
This is a recording from the 1080p webcam from the XPS 13 93 15 2 in 1. This is the video and the audio unedited so you can hear and see what the quality of the webcam is like. And as always, I've got two types of lights to kind of turn on. I've got my one studio light turned on and also the down lights in this room turned on for ambience. Now I'm going to turn off the one studio light. You see this adjuster. I think it adjusted pretty quick here. And the two down lights in front of me is a bit far away so there's not much light hitting on my face. So this is what I consider a bit of a dark environment. If you're in an office environment, you have should have much more light than what I'm currently at and I'll turn my one studio light back on and you'll see this adjust again I do think that it's great to see that Dell have put a 1080p webcam in the XPS 13 and I think it is quite sharp with good quality out of the webcam and also nice colors as well here is a video recording at a coffee shop just to see how the microphone performs with a lot of background noise definitely love to hear what your thoughts of this microphone put a comment below the two speakers located on either side of the XPS 13. When I tested out the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure in a peak of 74.8 decibels. Now, I will actually consider this on the quiet end compared to other tablets or laptops. But as for the sound quality, we actually have quite a nice amount of bass. It really does favor the low end. You get that sort of punchy bass as well. And has a lot of reverb it has good acoustics but I'll just say they actually very decent speakers i actually like the sound of these speakers now you can actually quite hear this in 360 degrees of this xps 13 and the only complaint is it's just a little bit on the quiet end of the spectrum it comes with a 49 and a half one hour battery and i managed to get eight hours and 26 minutes for the modern office battery life test in pc mark 10 2 hours and 43 minutes for gaming and 7 hours and 32 minutes for video playback on the Procon battery life test. I consider this pretty decent considering that it's got a small battery in this XPS 13. Looking at the temperatures and fan noise, the XPS 13 93 15 2 1 is passively cool which means it doesn't have any fans so it relies on the surface area of the front and back to cool itself. So this XPS 13 is practically silent and I took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest area on the display side measured a maximum of 35 degrees Celsius now the average internal core temperature was averaging at 34 degrees Celsius then I put 20% load on the computer that's pretty much average use so that's tasks like office productivity work streaming videos surfing the web and the hottest area on the display side measured a maximum of 39 degrees celsius and the average internal core temperature was 46 degrees celsius i also measured the back side of this with 20 percent load and the hottest area measured a maximum of 40 degrees celsius then i put 50 percent load on the computer and the hottest area on the display side measured a maximum of 42 degrees celsius and the average internal core temperature was 58 degrees celsius and the back side maximum temperature measured in a surface area of 44 degrees celsius then i put 100 percent load on the xps 13 and the hottest area on the display side measured a maximum of 48 degrees celsius and the average internal core temperature was 89 degrees celsius and on the back side of the computer with 100 percent load the maximum temperature measured a maximum of 50 degrees celsius the xps 13 to 1 does run pretty warm and really you don't really want to work this as and in tablet mode so you really need to have this propped up or on against something especially using the keyboard cover the Dell XPS 13 93 15 does come with this Dell XPS stylus now this has a model number of PN 93 15 a and there are two physical buttons on the side and also a physical button on the top now it does come with replaceable nibs which you can actually replace and change which is good and it's quite thick which is have a good grip here and you've got a bit of a curvature on the side and then you've got one flat side now it does wirelessly charge this stylus or by magnetically attaching to the top of it and you'll see the laptop will charge the pen now we're just going to do the jitter test so i'm not a digital artist so please bear with me now if i do have one hand that's touching the display and i'm just going to try and do my diagonal lines as best as i can it's looking pretty good here. I'm going to do some quick ones here. 
Now I'm also going to bring in our ruler. Again, I'm going to have one hand also by my palm touching the thing. As you can see, that's just caused just a little issue there. But after that, it was actually all right. Now I'm going to have two hands, two points touching. And this sometimes causes issues with it. Now I'm also going to do some horizontal lines, some slow ones, some quick ones here. That's good. And I'm going to do my swirls. Now it is pretty humid at the moment and I'm going to try and keep my palm touching the display. So it is going to try and stick, but it's still doing all right. Now I'm not going to have my palm stick touching the display this time and I'm going to try and keep it as even as possible. I'm not a great artist as you can see. A pen is pressure sensitive as well. So I'm just going to do light, hard, light, hard, light pressure. And as for the parallax, let's just see how that goes. It's actually keeping up with it pretty good here. And I just do some writing. And I am touching my palm on the display. Here's the results of the benchmarks performed on the XPS 13. This one's configured with an i7 1250U processor with 16 gigs RAM, 512 gig SSD. This is course for Plasma. Citibench R23, PC Mark, 3D Mark, Crystal Disk Mark, Geekbench 5, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Pugin Photoshop, Pugin Lightroom, Pugin Premiere Pro, Blender, Luxmark, Vermark, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pref. and some gaming benchmarks like Far Cry New Dawn, Far Cry 6, and F1 2022. Overall, the Dell XPS 13 93 15 to one is a bit of an interesting sort of laptop tablet computer. It can kind of be on the both sides of the fence here because I do like the sounding of these speakers. They definitely sound nice. I just wish I had a little bit more volume just to help it when it's outdoors. And we got a very nice display which has very good clarity and vibrance out of this display. And for the brightness, it is bright enough to actually cut through this reflective glossy display. And with this keyboard cover, it really is subjective to your, if you like, the sort of user experience where you're actually typing more flat or you actually need more angle. That really is subjective to what you think will be nice and to be comfortable with. I can ever say that the actual keys itself feels really nice and nice to actually type on. And the trackpad is very responsive and just still works absolutely fine there. And as for the Medex, I have for this keyboard is really, really strong. But I do wish they had a little bit more than just two settings uh, for this keyboard cover. Uh, that could be maybe improvement for the next version. Just have a little bit more settings than just two. But I do say the actual angle it has is very friendly for those transportations like planes or trains with your sort of trays sort of style there. So that is really nice for that. Now the battery life is, isn't that bad at all. It will probably just give you just shy of really a full day's work. The performance is pretty much just what I was expect from a 12th gen U processor. So that's really good. The only thing I would have a little bit of concern by, and it's not really a massive concern, is really it's just temperatures. And it is passively cool. The temperatures, what I'm talking about, is just when it is naked, like when you're not using the keyboard cover and you're just purely using this. Oh, see how strong that is. Uh, the just as it is like this and just even holding it when it's idle it's not bad but when you're just doing a little bit of processing uh, without the actual keyboard covering holding it what i call it naked then you do feel just a little bit warm there but if you actually have the keyboard cover you'll be holding like this and you won't actually feel it because you actually be shielded with this keyboard cover but you do have this bit of extra weight because of the keyboard side but else that's my really only thing that i'll be more worried about but i think maybe in the next one maybe just add a little fan just to help it out for just the cooling of it but still this is practically quiet now i hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it if you did even support my channel smash and share this video it does help me out and as always imperfections a life makes it beautiful and interesting and i'll see you next video